But the same father that ran to embrace the lost son went out to call the older son in. This is the love of God. And God's invitation to you today is to see yourself as the embraced son and daughter of God. There's nothing you can do to gain his approval. Your approval is through Jesus. But it's possible for us as Christians to live two realities. That in our heads, we believe what the Bible says about the Father, but there's sometimes an internal contradiction in our hearts because we may have been brought up with a father that was just a different image, an absent father or uh, an abusive father. And, uh, and so we can live with this mental ascent and belief of what, who God the Father is, but inside there's an inter internal contradiction. And I know because I've been there. And three years ago, I had such an amazing truth encounter with Father God that has completely changed my life. Even though I'd been a Christian for over 30 years and uh, in ministry for some of that time because he wants to reveal the nature of the Father to us. And the Father's house is an environment of grace. And the Father went out and he welcomed and embraced the Son while he was still out in the streets. Now, a, there was a law of, in Moses in Deuteronomy 21 that if any son had disgraced his family, he'd be stoned. That was in the Jewish law. And so the neighbors could have come out with the stones and started to stone that returning son. But you know what? If those stones had been thrown, they would have hit the father. Such a picture of the grace of God. And instead of a funeral, there was a feast. <laughs> We see Jesus, he didn't condone sin, he called for repentance, but he loved sinners, and that included those religious sinners. So in the Father's house is the atmosphere of heaven and earth. In the Father's house, there is joy over salvation. In the Father's house is an environment of welcome and grace, and we get to know the Father for who he really is. And finally, in the Father's house, there is an aroma that just leaks out. You know, the older brother came near and he heard the sounds of celebration. He heard the singing, the dancing, and the, the noise of what was going on. No doubt he could smell the aroma of that pig on the spit. You know, and when we have this environment of the Father's house, there is going to be something that gets out. A rumor of the goodness of God, the sound and the fragrance is just going to get out there. And the atmosphere of heaven is going to be here with us.